Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, it seems like uh, it seems like they've figured out that this is Money Maker, which they should have known a long time ago. Come on, it's Multiversal Spider Man. Who wouldn't have paid money for that? Let's be honest. Uh, but I think they also just had you know they got to get through the tape, they had to get uh, the red tape that comes with production. They had to animate a whole nother movie, right? Like. <coughs> Yeah, it was very unique. It was very well made. Yeah. No, no, no. We, we... Yeah. Yeah, I guess the Spider-Verse verse. It's the Spider-Verse verse from the Marvel-Verse verse from the Verse-Verse verse. No, no, no. It, but definitely, it looks good. I'm excited for it. I feel like, uh... <coughs> two part, two things. All right. Um. Ooh. Sorry, I'm gonna call it. I gotta dismiss. Uh. <coughs> Sorry, that hit got me. The uh, the two things I really like is they seem to be following a good path with the comics in a lot of ways. Where not only are they pulling stuff naturally from the uh, the comics and everything, but they are um, they are basically framing the story of it kind of that way as well where it goes right they did the first spider verse and then they did another spider verse later with miles as the main character and obviously Mar miles was the main character of the other one as well but he wasn't the main character in terms of story conflict problems you know what i'm saying it was everybody else's problem not miles problem so probably this one it's going to be him coming to help just like the other one where he's coming in doing it i don't know i thought it was really well done i thought seeing and obviously, I already knew 2099 was going to be in there, but seeing the roads, the layout of the roads across the air, uh, and a couple of the other things are, were very reminiscent of that old, well, old slash new, right, 2099 uh, aesthetic. So this looks good and good. <coughs> <coughs> Shit. 19, maybe not 18. Yeah, um, I'm going to say probably 2018, and the only reason I'm saying that, maybe 19, because um, someone just posted some of the Spider-Ham side videos that they did, mm -hmm. which I didn't even know existed until they did, because I had been mentioning uh, Spider-Ham, and they had never heard of the character. So no. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you got to go check him out, he's hilarious, he's played John, by uh, John Mulaney, he's funny as hell. And uh, speaking of, actually, the guy, one of the guys I was talking to in that um, conversation has some copies of the original 1980 Peter Porker stuff. So, oh, nice. Yeah, super cool. The spectacular, yeah, I forget what it's called, Peter or something. Yeah, but yeah, um, that, that's pretty, that's pretty yeah, funny. Yeah, it is. Um, well, I mean, that's pretty much what I guess we could say. Uh, for yeah, the that's Spider really all I mean, we know, huh? That's, that's, that's there wasn't really much else we revealed. Going on to, yeah, I it mean, was we a really good... Knew, it was, well, yeah. It was, yeah, yeah, there wasn't much... The only thing we really got a full reveal of is interaction between uh, 2099 and mm. Miles, right? That's pretty much our news for this one, because we knew Spider-Man 29 was kind of going to be in this new one from the end of the last one. Um, we we kind of knew we were getting a second one. I mean, it just did so well, it wouldn't have made sense not to do another one and bank in on it. You stop mm -hmm. doing them when it stops working, you know what I mean? Right. That's how the movie industry works most of the time. And I am also, like you said, glad we're getting the part two. So that's the other big reveal that we get is part one, which means part there to be a part two. Um, or or and part po three? Yeah, possibly. <laughs> but we don't know that. We just know that there is at yeah, least right now. a part two. Uh, and yeah, I guess we really can't pull that much more. I guess if we really went and looked, and we could probably analyze the footage. But they really did a short. It was, what, two minutes? And yeah. most of that was like chill intro kind of stuff or mm -hmm. 
you know, Definitely. probably um, literally the first scenes they've animated. <laughs> but it, it does look so good, honestly. Like, which I expect it to, you know what I mean? At, uh, at, at this point, I'm, you know, we're kind of expecting it to look amazing mm-hmm. because, you know, which it, it kind of sucks because you never, it does never goes down when they go, do good shit like this. It always has to get better and better. They can never do the same or worse or else we get angry. You know what I mean? I, right. I just find that right. funny. Uh, <laughs> I do got to do one thing or I'm going to have to put this on me. I got to get a second one of these. Open. Right. Well, but, um, yeah. since there's not much else to talk about that on the spider verse, just that we're all excited. And I'm pretty sure everyone else is excited. Uh, everyone really loved that first movie. Um, so I yeah, can't wait for the next one, but um, I thought I did hear about this kind of rummaging around. Um, but yeah, it's official. It looks like we're going to be getting the new Leatherface uh, movie coming to Netflix. Really? Uh, being yeah, being made by Legendary, because um, Legendary even po- I'm gonna guess because I think they still have the rights to. It. I don't know. I, I didn't really get to see who was the uh, studio that did it, but I'm I'm taking a guess. Maybe it's Legendary that's doing it. But um, yeah. So oh, and you know who also I'm kind of excited that's gonna be in this. So um, it's gonna be produced by Fetty Alvarez, which um, he's done some pretty cool stuff. I think he was the guy the that did the familiar. new reboot of uh, Evil Dead that we got. Okay. Um, and then um, Keem Heck- Heckley, um, and then co-writer of the original film, directed by David Blue Garcia. And which is kind of be cool is that this is actually going to be a direct sequel to to uh, Tobe Hooper's uh, 1974 horror classic. So it's not a reboot or anything like that. It's going to be a sequel to those classics, um, which I think uh, Tobe uh, he only did. I think he did three of them. Uh, back in the late seventies and eight, through the eighties, there, uh, and that was about it from him. It's really. I've cool never really truthfully watched all the tra- yeah. <laughs> Texas. I have to go back and actually. They're fine. Uh, they're no. They're, watch good. Them. they're They're pretty cool. Um, I will say, like, I, they're at least not as overdone as like Jason and Freddy and everybody. But uh, there, there's just something about them. You know what I mean? Where it's <laughs> like, all right. Uh... Well, from what I've watched before, yeah, they're they're unique, different kind of like like you know kind of psycho the real psycho yeah. family that wants to just cannibalize you and uh it's it's not even all about really leatherface it's about him and his family which is kind of uh yeah they're, they're also just as insane and crazy no yeah is, it's a but... whole thing he's like the face of the crazy but yeah definitely but, which is why but... it was cool uh and i enjoyed it because it was also obviously slightly based on real events and well like yeah, no. like uh, I guess it's the original uh, person that we can go off is Ed Gein, who actually is not even from Texas. I think he was originally in Oklahoma, and uh, uh, I think yeah. he only killed about, I want to say about 10 or 15 people, but he did actually, like you said, was using the people's skin to make it uh, at, for his furniture. <laughs> yeah, that. well, no, there's that one, and there is actually... Um... Uh, let's see. I gotta look it up because it's been a while. But it was yeah. my my brother really enjoyed it. So there's a it's, uh, he's ba- uh, you know what's funny is that there's a lot of people that actually based uh, their horror movies off of this. It's not even really just the Texas Chainsaw. I can't really think of the, the few of them. But yeah, there's a lot of horror movie icons that we know out there that kind of actually based off of Ed. <laughs> yeah, but there there were some really interesting little pieces to that one. Uh. And it, like I said, it was it was always one of those ones that was heavily marketed it off being a real story, kind of like yeah. I which, remember we yeah, had those two thousand movies, especially right. Yeah, they really <laughs> liked to push it. I mean, what was another yeah, one really, that kind of pushed up, it? You thought they were kind of real. They were doing the same thing like the Blair. I remember when the Blair Ridge Blair, Project came out. Um, that one was also another one. People were like it's real, guys. It's real. Like they did such the a Conjuring good job of marketing no, not the on Conjuring. that one. There was another one at that time. The 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 one the horror one they kept doing sequels of par- Paranormal Activity. Oh, Paranormal Activity. Yeah, that one was that another one they pretty pushed, good. Where that like, one after the fourth on. one though, kind of. Yeah, well, Most you know, I actually made him. another one. Did you know that? That came out I, Paramount? Yeah, I did. It's called uh, Paranormal Activity uh, Rise of the Kin, I think was the name of the title. Um, but I, I don't believe it's like a reboot or anything. It's still kind of like playing along after the, these no, movies. No, yeah. So. It was, like I said, it was one of those ones where it very quickly... I remember like, even watching I mean, the spin-offs. most of them. Let's, let's be <laughs> honest. And that's what people don't like consider either is like even for classic horrors that did last more than four or five movies... Not all those movies are good. 
Yeah. Maybe about half. So, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And same for the, that's, so like after three or four movies, you know, you kind of <laughs> run out of like, um, <laughs> Right. Yeah. Um, well, now on the subject of horror, still, uh, we can go ahead and talk about Chucky Two. Um, oh, yeah. oh, not Chucky Two. Sorry. Um, the, the series. I'll go into right? that. What I meant by that, but yeah, the series. Uh, you gotta check it out. If you have Peacock, uh, which I think is uh, free, uh, but you know, uh, definitely check it out on Peacock. All the episodes are on Peacock right now. I'll have um, to go see if I can oh, check it out. Such a great show. I loved it. It was. And then it's just really great is that Don is uh, who's the original creator of Chucky. He's been actually. His has his hands in Chucky since the very beginning for like the last what Chucky's been around for 30 years now. So he's been literally the creator. He writes, directs. He did the whole thing for this new series, and uh, it's his baby, <laughs> that's for sure. But uh, he uh, he was involved in this, of course, like I said, and um, did a phenomenal job. I think he just did a good job of pulling back from like old characters, uh, even kind of like not really filling like plot holes, but like just giving us even more story to kind of fill in of who Chucky is and a little bit, but not really giving us too, too much. Cause he's still kind of like want to keep him a mystery of who he's a, you know, kind of, that's what gives him kind of that scariness. I think just a little bit mysteriness but there, but um, yeah, like I said, they invited Tiffany was back on the ser- series. That's cool. um, <laughs> yeah. It's just, there was so many cool people to see back on the series and just other uh, things and just them kind of going back to other movies as well. And you know what also is really cool is I did not know this until I was watching the behind the scenes stuff, but um, Brad uh, Dorif, I'm not sorry if I mispronounce his name, who's the voice of Chucky. Um, his uh, daughter actually is, has been playing uh, a few of the movies. So she did the last one, which was Curse Curse of Chucky and then the Seed of Chucky. Uh, no, not the Seed of Chucky. The Curse of Chucky and then the one right after. Oh, the Cult of Chucky. There we go. That was the other one. God, so she was in those two. And she's also in this series now because it's playing off of those other movies. So she she's back in these. And what's really cool is what they did is they did like a uh, young uh, Ray Charles uh, or Ray Lee Charles. Sorry. OK. Yeah, and like, uh, Ray Charles, it, which is, is Chucky, which is what's yeah, which is what her dad played only like the first movie. And um, they were doing like some back in the scenes uh, back in the 80s and him m- meeting actually Tiffany, how they c- came to be. And uh, she actually played her dad, but they made like all the makeup on her, and she, oh my gosh, really, like she literally like looked like her dad. Well, nowadays, like dude, so people they did people underestimate <laughs> prosthetics combined with a yeah. VFX. Nowadays, you can make. You well, know what I mean? they said they didn't really have to do too much just because well, I mean she's, she's got like, of course the facial features of her dad, but she just like just had to bush up her eyebrows a little bit, give her a little bit more of a manlier chin, probably and thick in her face, kind yeah. Of, yeah, a little bit. That was Bro, pretty just much in post. Yeah, well, like yeah. and, that's and then she like... has that same laugh that she ha- that her father does. She she says and she does it on set, and it's like hands down, like really kind of the same as her father too. That's so cool. I, like I said, it was really cool. They how they did all that. They involved her dad to make a, these younger scenes of the serial killer before he was Chucky the doll. Oh and, man, uh, definitely. Like I said, I I would recommend any uh, horror fan or Chucky fan to uh, check it out because it was a good show, well written. Um, and then, like what I was saying, Chucky 2 earlier, I meant to say is because we're getting a season 2 already. And it will be coming uh, out already okay. next year. Um, no, so I really quick. can't wait for that. Um, yeah, there, he uh, he's he's uh, busting these out. But uh, definitely, yeah, like I said, check it out if you can. Uh, I, like I said, it's on Peacock, all the episodes. I believe those should be all free. You'll just have to, you know, sit through some trailer, or not trailers. We're legally ads required stuff, but... to tell people we're sponsored by Peacock. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're not. Um, but no, but, uh, it sounds it's awesome. I liked yeah. it. It was a good show. Hell yeah. I mean, I'm excited for it. I want to check it out. I got to make figure it you know, out and go check it. And then once again, just find the time on top of all. Yeah, definitely. Because yeah, right. cause, <laughs> uh, He-Man Season 2 came out. You know, um, I kind of fell off on it, man. I couldn't get through it because I, I heard a lot of people were kind of mad that, again, like, now it's not really – there wasn't too much He-Man in this second season and – and his name's in the title, but I don't know. That's why I heard a lot of people are just mad about, like, that now the second know. season, they thought he was at least going to be a little bit more in the sh- in the show, but it still kind of revolves, I guess, around his friends and stuff, um, which I, mean, I guess is fine. I mean, but, you know, I guess, you know, the general audience and your old school audience is like, I want He-Man. We want He-Man. <laughs> I can feel that, and I think that's just the a mistake on the producers. Like, yeah. And that's I'll say that right out, even though I didn't I didn't think it was as bad as everyone put it out to be. But I also had my own personal gripes with it for entirely different reasons. Like I had no problems with He-Man not being there. 
but I did want an interesting story besides that, and I didn't get one. I really like okay. I didn't I just didn't have that much interest in seeing Tila's ascension to back to being a, a yeah. to being the character she had always been, which was the sensible character. Tila was yeah. always the sensible yet rash, right? She was like mm-hmm. supposed to be right, but she'd always be there to help save Adam or like do these little things and then have to get saved by He-Man, right? Right. Because her trope was always like I protect Adam and then He-Man comes and saves me, and it was right. this whole. And like, yeah, Trying cool. To it's fix in... that whole yeah trope. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but... and I get, I get it. Like, you know, fine, you know. But uh, no then more give ladies me... in distress, or you know, right? Damsel which, in <laughs> which was fine. But then I want an interesting story besides that, and I just didn't feel right. like I got one. I didn't. I wasn't engrossed. <laughs> um, I had issues with some of the the little minor plot writing details and like mm-hmm. put pushes here and there where I'm like, eh. I've been and, actually liking the uh, kids show better than this new one because they did you know they came out with another <laughs> show that's on <laughs> Netflix, but it's targeted towards I think a younger audience. But I actually like that version better. <laughs> I haven't checked it out. I'll, I'll have check to it see. out. I yeah, there's another way he matched. I, I, I haven't I seen uh, Revelations. I believe I can't remember. Wait, no, yeah. Revelations was... No, that's uh, the new one, right? Yeah, yeah, that's I the... I can't remember. Definitely check yeah. it out, but there's... They, they, and then he man's a little bit more... Uh, what's the word? Uh, dramatized in oh, the... Body kind of <laughs> looks like Dave the Barbarian and shit. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, yeah, oh, kind of here and there. <laughs> but I, I guess that I, I don't know. I, I kind of liked it a little bit better. No, but no, that's no. maybe that's just me. <laughs> no, I'm sure it's good. Uh, I was just making fun of that because that's usually how the the cartoon versions of people like that go. You know what I mean? It's right. like, how do we make them look? Just make give him the biggest pecs you've ever seen. <laughs> They'll know he's buff after that. Just give him huge titties. Um, but yeah, uh, I will say I did check out, um, the first episodes of Arcane and a couple of other shows. I still got to check out. You were saying you're watching that, huh? But yeah. you said you were still kind of not all into it, huh? I think it's a good show. I think it's like a seven it's a good show, but just ten. not all, yeah, invested uh, Well, in it was one of those, one, I didn't get too invested in the first episode, but two, it was one of those ones where once again, I think it did too much good hype. And like this one, mm-hmm. I, I felt like. No, I felt like people were trying to like not push it, but they were really like, you need to watch this. And they were trying to mask it. It's like, well, it's really good. I won't tell you. You have to watch it. But it was like, yeah, no, it, was, it wasn't a have to watch for me. It was what I could have watched now or in a couple of years. And it probably wouldn't have made a big difference, especially because mm-hmm. in a couple of years, I'll probably be able to watch more than the nine episodes they currently have. Which is, no, that's not, I mean, it's not bad. It's nine episodes yeah, in an hour, and that's kind of the standard now, so I'm not even going to be critical of it, because Netflix-wise, it is a little short for animated uh, seasons, mm-hmm. but not necessarily for new animated kind of Americanish things, such as, like, in, in, uh, Invincible or stuff like that. They only had, like, what, nine, eight seasons of Invincible or ten? I don't know. Yeah, it wasn't that much on the from Amazon on that either. But uh, we'll see. Maybe they'll add more since they got such no, great no, no. success. They, they, the I think they season, already yeah. got a. I think they already cleared the second season. I could yeah, be wrong. Yeah, second season's coming for sure. But I'm just curious. And, like, how and once many again, I'm sure. I'm sure I'm going to huh? get a lot of like roughness on the internet for it because I always do whenever I'm critical of popular shows. People are always like, "Bro, you didn't understand this." It's like, look, man. Truth is, and I'm going to be honest. There was great things, and then there were things I didn't like. And I think, but I think the biggest problem being once again that I think I would have enjoyed the show even more had I gotten no context about it before I watched it. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah. Like the the other reviews changed how I went in to watch it, and mm-hmm. uh, I I think it's like that thing of like it's kind of like watching the new Spider Man f- trailers, right? Like, yeah, it didn't really change what I know about the movie, but it changed how I felt about the movie, right? It, it made mm-hmm. me want to watch it more by watching the trailer. And sometimes it could do the opposite, right? Where you watch the trailer and you're like, well, I feel like I've seen everything in this already or like, uh, it, or I feel like it isn't good, right? And so mm-hmm. I think the opinions on that kind of did the same for me where it's like whenever something gets such universally good praise where they're just like, everything is this, it's just great and amazing. I'm just like, <laughs> eh, meh. <laughs> Scrooge McDuck, Bye, <laughs> right. or Scrooge. Bah. Well, um, what else was I? You know, one of the bigger news though, actually, I forgot to say was um, 
the uh, oh was uh, we you know we were kind of sad about this, but we were because remember I think we talked about this, but we thought you know this is going to be it, you know, no more Spider-Man movies from Sony and Marvel. Oh, uh, did we collaboration? I thought we did, but there was just announced like a few days ago that now they are with Tom Holland are signed up for another three movies. <laughs> Um, I didn't know there was an announcement. I thought I had seen some like posts about it, but I thought it was from like an underground website. But I, I don't no, know. No, yeah, the yes, yeah, so a lot of people are starting to put it up now that yeah, they uh, yeah, it's official that they're going to be doing okay. three more. That's cool. Um, I um, think even IGN even put it up too as well. No, now, finally. I, I don't, I don't. Maybe that was maybe we did, but I don't remember us saying that. Well, I, thought I, we I know said... we talked about like the uh, you know because the, there was no announcements, and even Tom Holland said you know. Was kind of talking about like, hey, maybe it's time to. Kind I think of like we talked about Miles that. Morales next and stuff, and I was like, oh, think, that's gonna kind of suck and stuff, you know. I we think were, we talked kind of, a little about maybe that. I didn't know if we talked about them not doing more movies. I they, I figure they have him capped for at least six movies. No, and they then choose to I guess they him. didn't confirm, and he was even talking about like saying he was not gonna do it more or not do any more and. I don't know. There was talks of that, but finally know. they're finally all the, saying that they are gonna. When was this? This was oh, actually this was about a few days yeah, ago. Because all the they finally say they're gonna yeah uh, do three more for sure with them. Uh, it's a done yeah. deal. But the only reason I say that is all the all the signs would point to the exact opposite. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, with the creation of the Sinister Six in this next movie, the fact we have we a confirmed Venom and Morbius tie-in. Yeah. Yeah. It, it only would suggest that they're doing way more Spider-Man stuff, and I don't right. know why you'd switch I, Tom Holland And I Holland think they the were just saying that because I think that when the original contract went through, it was only four or three movies to I think that's. With, so. I think that was maybe what we and were talking about so, is that he just hadn't been confirmed. I don't. I yeah, just don't remember no, no, talking no. about him being um, not coming for more movies. I know. Uh, I know. Maybe we didn't, but I know they were. Po- he was posting about. He was talking okay. about saying gotcha. like, "Hey, Miles Morales, maybe should be the next Spider Man." Maybe, me. <laughs> maybe that was what we talked about because I kind of uh, remember that. Um, and there was even uh, somebody posting uh, because he was right next to Little Nas. No, that's what we talked. That's what we I, talked about. Was <laughs> now I, I re- fucking too. remember oh, what yeah. it was. All what we talked about was Little Nas talking about being Miles Morales and how that was impossible. <laughs> Right, I know. I that's like, no, what we talked I don't about. Think that's gonna happen, guys. Yeah. And then now I the remember. thing was funny is that people started posting uh, about it, saying, "Is he really gonna be the?" Yeah, new? of course people. Like, of course people did because they're fucking stupid. Uh, they post about. Was... They post about <laughs> all the thing about all the dumb shit they post of like their fan pics and like they always do that shit or they want. Um, granted, then you end up having the Rock as Ace or as Crypto and. Uh, <laughs> fuck, Kevin Hart is no, ace, so I guess I can't it. really say that because most of the now it's actually becoming thing. But it'd be back in the day where they would be like, "Oh yeah, so and so is gonna play, fucking uh, or Snoop Dogg's gonna play in the next Mission Impossible or some shit." You know what I mean? Where it's just like, <laughs> yeah, no, maybe as a cameo or as him himself, but yeah, right. no. But uh, yeah, I mean that's uh, I'm I'm just glad that they for sure said hey we're no, gonna that's look good nice news. they made another deal with Marvel it looks like and they're gonna come back for another three more and uh, I'm excited I just hope that I they get away three. from the the home title yeah it's about time I think well first of all they're at their trilogy right or is this four yeah this will be their trilogy yeah yeah so trilogy's fine that's um shit the better than Mission Impossible. Um, right, I've never, I've just never liked their titling for their Spider-Man movies. To tell you the truth, like it's, it's never, I don't know, it just never felt like Spider-Man these, to me. You know, the titles with yeah, they I don't just kind of, I don't know, I just don't know where they came from. I just, That's there's what nothing I'm saying. To... Like, where does the home, like Homecoming, like where does that come from? Like Homecoming made sense actually. Homecoming is the bit. only one that made sense because he was actually at Homecoming. But then it's like. I don't know. To that me, was, like, but just... that's the only one that made sense, and then the rest of them were based on that one. It, it makes sense to call it, like you said, homecoming, but it's just like a well. Because what, like what was the, like, oh, what was the list? What was the list? Homecoming, we'll name it the homecoming. <laughs> they oh, wait, couldn't come it? with nothing better, like you know. But no, I, know. I, I agree on that. But that's where it's that's what the only one that makes any <laughs> sense. sense. All the right? other ones are the ones that are based on that one and make no sense home because they're all we're here in Europe now. <laughs> <laughs> and then um what's the last one no way home right because he can't go back to where he's 
Like they they make mm-hmm. sense. It's just not really. They're not one. Very it's creative. not. They're it's, very. It's beyond yeah. that. They're just not impactful. I feel like that's what I'm trying to, to say. Yeah, they're not very impactful. So they're like, like all right, think of, new, think of the new. Think of the new. Think of the new Matrix movie. <laughs> Think of the new title, the new, the right. new Matrix Revelation. Movie. Or Resurrection, isn't it? Resurrections. Boom. Yeah, Matrix. That's... Very simple, but impactful. Sound... Yes. Right. And it's still going with their whole Matrix. In the t- yes. Resurrection. <laughs> Matrix. Revelations. Revelations. That, that being Revelations. the only That being the only repetitive part about it, they should, probably should have done Matrix Resurrections and then a second part, right? Whereas now they add something, or or uh, resurrecting the Matrix, so that you get, you know yeah. what I mean, a switch up, kind of like Fast Fast and the Furious is one where I'll give them that that after they hit three, they're Fast and the Furious three, <laughs> f- then four, and then nine. F nine. I was like, all right, you know what? I at least respect that. That's at least oh, respectable for me. God. It's they're shitty titles, but at least they're different. Movie, man, uh, like... I haven't watched the last two or three. Uh, what was yeah. the last one I watched? Was the one where they're on the roof and it's collapsing or whatever, or and then and they're shooting at them yeah, from the helicopter. I think the last one I watched is the one where they were. I know I only watched it because of, uh, the Tony Jaw was in that one. Oh, but I didn't, he didn't see really that have one. A whole lot of, or maybe uh, I did that fighting scene in that one. Maybe I did see that one. That is that the one, the one Ronda Rousey? Rousey remember was they in? fell off the plane? Yeah, all right, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That, I think yeah. maybe that was the same one then, because wasn't that maybe. the one where they're fighting? Um, I can't remember. It was. It was. It was either. I think was in that one. Cause oh no 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 did I see the one with Idris Elba? Is that the one? Maybe. I, think? I, don't I don't know. Think about how the know. many there are now that we're now we're having to think about that, and now we have the one with John Cena, which is the the newest one, right? Because oh, now man, John Cena now. is the big oh, actor, yeah. right? Because yeah. now he's popping into the place where The Rock was before, which was this kind of upcoming wrestler actor because now that the rock is just a fully established mainstream, highly in demand actor. He's, yeah, yeah, he's, and uh, and breaking he's out of. Well, and even though he does mostly still He's go even into... in Fortnite. Did you see that today? Oh, is they did they put the rock in Fortnite? <laughs> yeah, they put him in as a Fortnite character. For well, the he new did event. he did you hear he did that song with uh, Tech 9? Oh, he did a song with Tech 9 now. I didn't yeah. see that. Yeah. Apparently <laughs> it was pretty I still haven't really Oh no, I've heard it. It's pretty good. Um my my brother thought it was pretty good. You could hear it. He did his you, you know when he does that meme where it's like something we got then we got power and then we got and his, oh, uh, yeah, 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 that's yeah, yeah, yeah. part of Shaka his Ma. verse i think but i heard it was pretty good i i haven't checked it out because i i haven't really listened to tech nine stuff in a while but yeah i think the no, last that, i don't right. remember the last one was misery loves company i think for me was the last one i was really listening to did you uh get your tickets yet for spider-man no this, uh, coming up yeah we no i still haven't I have even watched go. the eternals I had to buy all right all right check you know this out happen? i'm gonna get spoiled because I'm, it's, I know yeah, I, I am. I know happen, I, so that I know I am. But I'll, Facebook for a week. I, oh no, I'm literally <laughs> going to too. I'll be like, I won't even be looking at anything. I'll be here and just working for like a week until I go watch it in the middle of the night because I'll go to like a showing when no one else would possibly go. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's how I'll get it done because I'll just pick to go at like uh, nine a.m. or some shit on a Tuesday because <laughs> no no one's gonna be there and I know I can go. Who's gonna stop me? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, right. But, uh, but more so the, uh, what got me was I still haven't seen the Eternals, right? Yeah. It's not going to go to my parents have seen the Eternals now. Oh, ah, ah, ah. they, they said it was decent. They said it was an average okay. movie and I honestly respect their opinions so much more than even my mm. opinion for stuff like this because they are the average movie goer, bro. Right. Yeah. They like, and that's what people need to remember is like your art, your personal right jaded view of the movie. Yeah, cool or whatever. But you're one out of th- even just in America, you're one out of three hundred plus million people who may or may not have watched that and may or may not like it for whatever reasons, and who may or may not know the original context or may or may mm-hmm. not like stories told this way. Because some people like <clears throat> slow stories, some people like fast stories, some people like fun. You know what I mean? There's right. no. Like, personal taste makes a lot of the difference, right? Because, like, shows that people... I think, it, like, there's always good examples. Because me and you agree on a lot of shows, right? And things that mm-hmm. we enjoy. And then there's just things we don't agree on. Yeah. Right? Uh, and sometimes there are even things where they're not even just... are They're not drastic differences. It might be, like, one that you really like and I just kind of like. Or I kind of like. Mm-hmm. And, or I really like and you just kind of like. Um, right. And so the reason I like them is they're so... No, not to say, but they're so kind of old 
and like <laughs> you know out of it that they really don't have any predisposition toward any of that kind of stuff they're just like mm-hmm. going to the movie to watch the movie and enjoy themselves they don't give a shit so right. when they come back and they tell me it was a decent movie um that uh that was kind of like i think they said you know like a six seven out of ten kind of thing nice okay which well, i, 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 I can't expected. go see it then I'll, you have to i'll have to see if i'm gonna just wait till disney plus or like i said yeah, i think it's gonna be go a it. really big a visual effects one, which would be the only reason I would say go yeah, see it. Yeah, kind of go, yeah. But otherwise, I don't really see necessarily the big reason. I'm kind of thinking of keeping it for one of my my reaction movies because mm-hmm. I didn't do Shang Chi and I wanted to, and I kind of wish I had because it was a fun one. But I think doing the Eternals would be a fun one, and I I do want to watch it. I just don't know if I want to watch it uh, in the theater. I also know you wanted to do a short one today, so we'll probably yeah, look I was to gonna start say, finishing yeah, if we wanted up to here. start. Ended it yep, here, yep. Um, um, but I think that was pretty much it. Anyways, there wasn't really too much. I mean, we got the new Hawkeye episode that came out. There was a couple of new stuff that came out on Netflix to go check out. I mean, I know the Jurassic Park show came out. Some yeah. new Christmas movie stuff. Well, uh, definitely check we, out. Um, we definitely have. So I know we have um, gaming stuff we still have to get to from like old yeah. stuff even. But we'll get I, to that too. I, well, I think they need their own episode too. So maybe next week. I know we keep saying this, but we'll set aside next week specifically to just go over gaming. Yeah, you know what I mean, and we that way we can have ideas to pick up and collect stuff because obviously we've had Halo Infinity stuff, which I'm gonna try to play this week as part of one of my yeah, runs. Yeah, definitely try to download it. And it's yeah, because I've heard it's, it's pretty fun, fun. and uh, like you said, I've I mean I've just seen people playing it. I I want to know how they're gonna structure their future movement because that's the most important thing for games nowadays as compared to what old Halo used to be. Is like you don't just yeah. release a game now and. Unless you're just gonna be a campaign only kind of thing, yeah, like yeah. Yeah, you you have, you to, have to release it, and update it, and, and drop others. Yeah, um, but with that, I yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I don't think I have anything else really either. Uh, I I gotta catch up on comics and even my manga. I'm almost caught up in the <laughs> anime to where I was in One Piece and the manga, which is actually fucking saying something. <laughs> um, nice. Well, yeah. we'll see if I can, we can go off some comics to have a, maybe a comic episode too, and I have to catch up to here. Yeah. Some more well, maybe we'll, well. we'll, we'll plan that for the week after gaming. So we'll do yeah. gaming next week and then we'll do comics in two weeks. That'll give us some time to catch up reading. Right. <laughs> At least some of the stuff. And, uh, we'll just, you know, get a general state of it. Cause I think, and I want to check that with you too, real quick, as well as anybody watching. But uh, I think that'll be the nineteenth, and then uh, you know, the weekend after that is the twenty-sixth, which is right after Christmas. So I don't know if we want to do that or push it up or down. But mm-hmm. I, I just wanted to make a note of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Well. Cool. We'll, we'll see how it goes, and yeah, we'll definitely do the gaming one for sure here coming up. But uh, yeah, I think that was kind of it then here for the day. Yep, it sounds good, man. Thanks for chatting as always. Uh, I'm yeah, looking forward course. to next week because I'm definitely excited for some more new game stuff to be coming. All right, and. All right, it's discarding the delay right now, but it's technically done. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.